All right, and welcome back, everybody, to another one. Today is going to be the reveal and the results simultaneously in one video of the go-kart theme challenge that we've done here on the It's Clouds channel and for the Discord. Uh, a couple various Facebook groups uh, in there as well. We're going to start off today with the Xbox Spotlights uh, and then move into the PlayStation after so without further ado everybody we're going to jump right into it because this might be kind of a lengthy video i think we had nine or ten entries in total we're going to jump right in with terrius cart 250 i hope i'm saying your name right if i'm not i apologize on that one uh but this is the seven continents uh that he has done here and continental rush is the name of the go-kart track that he has themed he's got all kinds of different uh, theme stuff through here from the different continents and different areas of the world uh, So we'll hop on take a ride on it And then we'll kind of do like a, a bigger aerial look around of everything and see what uh, see what's going on Right out the gate though. I do like coming up this queue line. It's very good uh, Building work how you've kind of like blended these together with you know, your Asian you're maybe like I was gonna say Greek But you know Rome uh, There you go uh, okay, Kenya. Okay, I see a little different building style there. And uh, what's this one over here? I'm not sure. Maybe more like more American, European kind of kind of thing going on there. And Kyoto over there. Very nice. And we're going in the exit. I love it. It's it's like my signature, you know, going in the exit. Very cool. We've even kept the same uh, theming on each part going through the whole building, so that's cool. Very good little station you got going on here. We're going to throw it back into test mode, and we're going to hop on. We're not actually going to drive ourselves. We're just going to let it go around on its own accord here. All right, everybody, enjoy. All right, very cool. We won't do a second lap around just for the sake of the video here. Uh, these are kind of going to be long ones. It is a pretty long track here, so we'll just do the one ride around, and then we'll get like an aerial view of this. I really, really like this. This was a great way to start this off. Uh, the art shape usage here is what makes it stand out. I mean, don't get me wrong. Your building work and stuff back here in the backdrop is really good as well, but these art shape uh, usage that you have here making giraffes rhinos i see some zebras flamingos i mean there's just so many things just in this one area what have we got over here We've got a lion up on top of the little uh truck there elephant shooting water into the into the pathway people go, go right through it very very cool there's a few more i mean even out here with like the dragons i saw were out here very well done on those some pandas down in here. I can I can only hope that one day I can get to this level of art shape uh, creation. Because there's so many people I see that are so good with it, and I just don't understand it. Some dolphins down in here. 
jellyfish. I really like how you did like an underwater area as well, kind of themed towards like the ocean and stuff. And you got your Colosseum. Oh, going through a tree. Antarctica, got all your penguins, your seals, walruses. And then you've got America, which, don't get me wrong, you, you did a good job with the buildings, the parking lot, the, the New York, the Statue of Liberty especially. This this is the real centerpiece of it. I mean, great job on this. Uh, but it just makes me so sad that this is America. You have all these other areas that are so beautiful, and they've got all these you know pretty things going on. And then and it, the representation for America is buildings and parking lots, which... You're not wrong. I'm not saying that as a negative thing towards your ride because you're you're completely correct, but everything else around is just so pretty. And then we have this. We gotta step it up, America. We gotta we gotta do better than parking lots and buildings. At any rate, y'all, we're gonna move on to the next one. Try to keep this video uh pumping out. I do wanna make sure I get a good little look over here and see you know, just everything, make sure it's all looked over. Don't want to miss any little details or anything that you put in here. So, well is our last entry with Desert Run. Right off the bat here, just already really excited for this. Uh, I love, 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 love the nature stuff. Uh, super big on it. Love the foliage uh, stuff. Um, and don't get me wrong, I still appreciate and respect buildings and, and coasters and all those things. But super big fan of rock work and foliage. So I'm really going to like this one going into it, I can tell here. I like a, a good Western theme here. So, very, very cool. Already coming into this. Let's see, do we have an actual... Okay, here the queue comes in. I see. We'll actually follow your queue pathing around then here. Proper look at the queue. Alrighty. Looking good. It's kind of crazy looking at some of this. It's like, I gave you guys two weeks and you did this? Like, how? <laughs> Entrance and exit. All right, well, let's head up on in here and ride us some go-karts. Very nicely done here with this kind of like thatch style beam work that you did. Very cool, very layered. There's a lot of uh, a lot of layers going on here. Look at this Q station. This is nice. Yeah, well, this goes all the way around. You've made a true, uh, true queue line here. Wraps up and back down and around. It's okay though. It's pretty. There's a lot to look at. A lot of foliage. A lot of good rock work here. You can check out along the way. It's all right. And look at this, like a big old barn interior. The rafters going on up there. The music's playing. All right. All right, everybody, enjoy.
All right, very nicely done. Another great, great entry here that I, again, just, I wonder how did you get this out in two weeks? I, I understand it's mostly rock work, but at the same time, it's a lot of rock work. It's, it's a lot of time, commitment, effort, uh, you know, making sure that you don't have just the same shape repeated over and over, uh, which it doesn't look like you do. I mean, there's some areas that you can tell maybe a little bit here and there, but uh, nothing that's like offensive or that I could look at and be like, oh, this is, you know, really needs fixed. It's very, very smooth, very good all the way around as far as your rock work, your terraining. I like these, these little, uh, I'm not sure what you'd call them, kind of like overhangs here between the cliffs. A little uh, ivy on them and stuff. Very cool with the detailing on the water, how you've kind of put your, uh, your footers. You've got some bushes and stuff around them down in there. Just very, very well done. Got your little tunnels through here. Really, really enjoyed this entry. Another great one, as far as I'm concerned. So many little details just throughout the whole thing. And you filled in the whole space all the way out to the edges. Uh, so very, very cool. Thank you so much for uh, putting this entry in here. And we will get right on to our next one so we can keep this. Or we have Marky McFly up next, also representing the guys over on the Xbox side of things. And we have the Marvel Grand Prix de Riviera, April 29th, 2023. Love this already. Um, themed it to, you know, the F1 kind of racing stuff. I assume this, I don't know a lot about racing. I'm going to get heat for that if I'm wrong. Uh, but I think it's themed to like the F1 racing kind of stuff. Um, and just immediately coming in, I'm just like the signage, you know, you got your Heineken, your Marlboro. Uh, there, there's more signage in here as well for different stuff. I've already taken a look at most of these. I'm not going to lie. Had to see what everybody entered. So I already know what's inside here. Uh, but I think y'all really enjoy this one. Very, very cool. A lot of detail in this one. Uh, and another one that just makes me wonder, like, how when i give people two weeks have you managed to produce this uh so yeah let's go check it out let's see what is this i'm probably going into an exit aren't i yeah i think i'm going into the exit let's see what these go-karts are all about Got your Rolex trophy. This lights out and away we go. Indeed, we're going to throw it in test mode. And we're off. Enjoy, everybody.
All right, very nicely done with that. I really liked all the signage throughout here. There's so many different ones you got going on. The Heineken, the Marlboro, the Fosters. Just so many different things through here signage-wise. Uh, very true to heart of what these races kind of look like. It's just advertisements and posts and billboards everywhere uh, for all the sponsors and things like that at the tracks. Don't play a whole lot of racing games myself. Don't know too much about them, but... Uh, I feel like for people that do, this will be one that they really enjoy entry-wise. Uh, even even this, I just now noticed this with like the seating that you've done here. That's a different way to do bleachers that I don't think I've personally seen before. So I like that little touch as well. Um, I almost wish that these were like individual spotlights so I could really go around and just look at every little detail that you guys have put into these. Uh, I do want to get quick fly-arounds, obviously, and make sure that we've seen... A good amount of the detail put in here, uh, but just for the sake of the videos and keeping it moving, I won't take forever and really go super, super in-depth with them, but definitely, definitely get that fly around, give you guys a good view of what's going on here. And there it is, everybody. We're going to close this one out, and we will move on to the PlayStation side. All right, and here we are moving right on into our next one. This is going to be the first entry to represent the PlayStation side of things, everybody. So we're going to kick it off here with Rothenberg. This is by BSA France, uh, better known as Mystic in the Discord groups. Uh, got his own YouTube channel and stuff, so check him out, y'all. I'm going to get right into it here. First up on the PlayStation side... I like the sign work here. This is definitely nice. Get on up in here. Do, do hop over some fences. Don't mind us. Don't mind us. Nice cue path and goes all the way up here. A little rock work going on with it. Oh, I'm clicking on people. I don't need people. Throw her into test mode here. Get a little run on it. Everybody enjoy. All right, there it is after one lap. We are back at the station here. I'm going to go ahead and pop out and get an aerial view of that. Really, really like that one. You guys already know, mountains, terrain, rock work, stuff like that. I'm going to enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, definitely cool. Interesting how you built it at kind of like a, an almost, uh, like, what am I trying to say, angled uh, shape here to it. 
So that's kind of neat that you didn't just build it straight across from one side to the other. You kind of like turned the track work. Uh, but definitely, you know, managed to utilize uh, a lot of the space here, but also, you know, not push yourself to try to fill out this whole thing, which I was hoping we would see some people do that, just kind of cut down the space, because uh, I did make it a very, very large area, uh, and it's it's not easy to fill this whole thing. So kudos for finding a way to kind of scale all of this back and make it just fit the track and, and hug it really, uh, really tight. We'll go down and look at it here in a second. I see some signs over here. It says, hey, it's Mystic. Please view it day and night. Uh, board a steam horse and venture through the Rothenburg, through the wood, and to the village of the inventor of the steam horse. Sorry I did not read that beforehand, but there you go, everybody. You got it there. And we will get a nighttime view after we go around a little bit here and take a look at what you got going on. Check out your rock work. Make sure everybody gets a good little view of what you got here. I really like the little towns that you've done kind of coming through here. Uh, really, really good building, uh, building trimming and stuff through this. It's definitely a fun little go-kart you got here. I like the uh, the facade style that you've done. You know, it's not like um, real buildings in a real forested area. You've done kind of like a facade to like plop down into a park somewhere. Uh, so that was a different take on it. I, I'm not sure that I saw uh, many or anyone else do that. So very cool there. A little tunnel here with the uh, pirate boats, I think. Yeah, it's nice. And then really like your station here. You've done the double... Uh, oh, not even double. You've beam worked it all the way through there. Okay. I gotcha. Very cool. We'll get a nighttime view of it. And we will keep moving on for the sake of time here. I'm not going to rush through anybody's stuff, but I can't stick around forever and make this a two-hour video. But uh, glad you put a sign out saying to view it at night. It is it is very pretty. I do like it a lot. Here, so we're gonna see what Lipikak has done this time. He said Winter's Circle is a day or night race through the city and the outskirts. So we're gonna get in here and see what Lipikak has done for this one. Probably gonna go this way. Yeah, as I say for the entrance, it's usually left. I always want to go right. I don't know why. Okay, I like the theming through here already. This is nice. Got a first, second, and third. This could be you. I like that. It's cute. Ready to ra I am not ready to race. I am not. Nope. Nope. The plips are taking control today. We're just riding along. Very cool entryway here. I like the, uh... I've kind of made this almost look like a fabric hanging down. That's really neat. All right, everybody, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to kick you off your ride. So, so terribly sorry. Everybody enjoy your ride.
All right, and there it is, everybody. That was Winner's Circle. Really enjoyed this one. I think overall, uh, the, the whole layout of this thing, even though it would eat percentage, as you can see, it's 19%. That'd be a lot to put into an actual park for one go-kart track. Uh, but if you were going for something that was very heavily themed, this would fit really, really nicely into a lot of different parks, I would say. Overall, really like this. I like the idea of kind of, you know, running around through the city. And then there's like the police over here at the beginning when you take off, kind of chasing you as you exit. Looks like these are all custom supported through here as well. So that's kind of, oh, you got a little announcer's booth up here. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, this is very cool. Very neat entry. We've had uh, we've had a previous entry that uh, was racing, and I think that was done more of like a Formula One kind of uh, style race. Again, if I'm wrong about that, I'm I'm gonna get grilled for it. I don't know racing. I apologize. Uh, but this was done more of like a kind of like a street race through the city uh, thing. So a little bit different take on it. Overall, very good build. Very scenic. A lot of color to it. It really pops and stands out, especially your tracking here, where you put the uh, the barriers around everything. We will get a night view as well. I did see that you mentioned maybe trying out a night view of it. And there you go. I see why you wanted it shown off at night. That does make sense. The bleachers you got over here too. Okay. Yeah, very good stuff, man. This this contest is uh, it's producing a lot of really cool entries that I didn't expect to see this much uh, put into it for a, a two-week period. But you guys have done a lot with the time that has been allotted for this. So kudos. We'll move on to our next one. Today we have Candyland by It's Snack. This is uh, Snack's very first entry of absolutely anything on Planet Coaster. Uh, Snack just so happens to be my wife. Uh, and she got into Planet Coaster after watching me do it for so long and decided she wanted to try it out. So this is the very first thing that she has ever completed in the game. And uh, props to her for entering a challenge uh, with with a first time completion of anything. That that takes some uh, that takes some drive, takes some nerves, you know. Because we all know the the level of competition here is pretty intense. Put her in test mode. All right, everybody, enjoy your ride at Candyland. All right, this one's gonna sound a little bit different because I have to do a record over the video here. I forgot to mute, or sorry, unmute my microphone uh, after this ride. So we're gonna do it this way with the audio over the video. Really like the different places in Candyland you got here, like the castle, and then you've got your, uh, your peppermint forest, your licorice lagoon over here on the right that we're gonna go take a look at in a second over there. And then you've got your hot cocoa 
lake here with your spilt over coffee mug and your marshmallows floating in it. Uh, I thought this was a very creative and fun build, especially for the first thing that you've ever done and to enter a contest with your, your very first creation. Uh, super proud of you and think that you did a really, really good job. I definitely can't wait to see where you go and progress to from here. Um, now I do know that Snack did mention that we should check out some night shots of the park as well. Said she did some lighting around the pathing and the little sign you see here to our left. So we'll take a look at it at night real quick. I do like this. I like your Candyland sign and your lighting there on your pathway. You've got your, uh, your ice cream sundae or your shake back there all lit up in pink. So very well done. Really, really enjoyed this. And, and as I said, for a first time... Uh, build. It is not badly done at all. I, I think that you have a lot of potential to keep moving forward. Like you even put in a little playground here for your first attempt, so that was really cool to see. Uh, just overall very well done. Alright everybody, next up we have Pirates Bay Race by Scott Boogie Gaming. I'm gonna check this one out. I'm already digging the theme here. I love a little pirate theme, so yeah, we're gonna get on in here check this thing out got a little fast pass built in there already got the pyrotechnics going off in the background very nicely done here I like this little uh, this little ride station already really cool man All right, we're gonna hop on it here, take a ride on Pirates Bay Race. Right there it is, everybody. Pirates Bay Race. Really like that one. I like the little confetti that shot through. I noticed that little confetti cannons over here that shot out towards the end of it. Very neat, man. I like the way you've lit the whole place here. Uh, and you've used every square inch of the space as well. It seems like you've gone from edge to edge with it. Um, I noticed as we were riding through, there were different kind of little areas of it. it Look like, you know, you start off here... And then you've got like a, a shipping trade thing. So it looks like you were telling a little bit of a story here with your scenes and stuff going through it. Um, and I do know that there was there was a full description on this as well. You guys, you should check this one out. Uh, I know that there was a little bit of like a backstory behind this one with the Kraken and all that and stuff. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely check this one out on the workshop, you guys. Uh, and check Scott out on his YouTube at Scott Boogie Gaming as well. Sorry, I know it's a little out of context, but uh, check him out. He's got a lot of good stuff over there, guys. Really cool here with this, but uh, overall, man, just very well done. The, the usage of the space throughout the whole thing was so, so good. Uh, I mean, you've managed to fit like a whole like little ocean in here, make it look like an ocean, and then come up through here with the fighting and the, and the rain and stuff. 
Um, so just overall, very, very cool. I do want to get a daytime shot of it just because, you know, it's kind of like we've looked at the other ones uh, at night. So why not check this out during the day? There it is, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. I really liked it. All right, everybody, on to the next one. This one here is by Bry Vades. This is the Wasteland Death Race, theme to, as you can see up here at the Vault Tech Industries, a little bit of Fallout. So all our Fallout fans out, of the, out there, I'm sure they'll get a kick out of this one. Come through here, we exit out of the vault. Very nice work on this, I like that a lot. And into the Wasteland Death Race. It's kind of ominous through here. Just a big old building with some pipes and a bunch of humming. Put her back in test mode here and take off. All right, very nicely done with this one. We're going to fly out and get that aerial shot of it. Another one where a lot has been done here. I feel like this whole scope of the area has been mostly utilized to its entirety. So very, very cool. like this a lot. Filled out the whole space. Uh, the Fallout theme was super cool uh, in itself, but you've also pulled it off very well. I'm um, not super, super familiar with Fallout. I haven't played it in a long time, but I do recognize a lot of what you've got going on here. Uh, I noticed somewhere down in here, I saw some of the robots that you made as we went by and different little things. So if you're, if you're up to snuff on your Fallout stuff, I'm sure there's a lot of references and things here uh, that you would gather from. I think these are kind of like made because when you like go to shoot somebody, they're kind of outlined in like a green and maybe that's you know the look of that. Or, or coming out of the toxic lake here. Either one. But uh, yeah, just very, very well done overall. A lot of the pieces that you've built and things for it. And uh, the destruction on these buildings, I think, was one of my favorite things throughout here, honestly. Just the way that you've made this just look so run down and dilapidated. Um, really, really nicely done as far as like ap apocalyptic kind of building structures go. So, very, very cool. Really enjoyed this one. Had a lot of fun with it. And uh, we will get right on to our next one. All right, up next we have the Doom Empire Super Race by George5151. Better known in the Discord and the Facebook communities as Doom. Uh, and this is part of his little series of Doom Empire stuff that they have going on. Uh, kind of theming everything to like one Doom Incorporated kind of project from what I've seen. Uh, at least from what I'm gathering from it. So a really cool idea how everything kind of ties into like one like owner corporation kind of thing. Very neat. A little bit of film work going on on the cars here. Cool 
little station here. We'll throw this in test mode and see what we got. All right, very nicely done on this one. I like this. It's super colorful. It popped a lot. You've got lights all the way through the tracking. You can see all the way around it. Um, I know you were going for like a, you know, like the, the racers are down here and they're being filmed and it's like a very like uh, kind of like put on TV, you know, stand uh, fans in the stands and things like that. Um, but the vibe that I really got from this was like those old school RC cars that you'd like play with or, or like the electric ones. I'm going to show my age here uh, that you that you had like the little controllers that ran around on an electric track. Uh, it really reminded me of that from like my childhood. So that was kind of neat, like a neat little experience uh, that I got that vibe from it. Got a little uh, Iron Maddie's crazy shop. Oh, we got some shout outs over here. OK, I might have to dig around for just a little second and see if we can find any other got mystic news shop over here but yeah while we're kind of going around here we'll talk a little bit about it i did really enjoy just the whole vibe you had going on here lots of signage lots of colors everywhere lots of things that pop in here um we can only assume that there's there's something for clouds and lyric in here too right oh it's clouds food shop hey there it is thank you <laughs> I, Lyric, you're probably at your subway, man. I just can't spend too much time browsing around these. But great job on this, Doom. Really enjoyed this, uh, you know. So thank you for doing it. All right, everybody. We are back with our final entry for 
this contest. This has been really cool. I appreciate everybody doing this. So we're going to get on to this one. This is by Lyric. And this is called, there's a sign up here. It's called Alpine Acceleration. Nice little Alpine theme here that he's done today. Already right off the bat. You can see he uh, he really went with the theming, doing his little sign work here with the uh, the fountain in the middle, the water feature as you enter in. Uh, this this could very well be put into a park as well. Uh, it would be a percentage eater at 23%, as you can see. Uh, but already coming in, you know, it would just fit so nicely into like an alpine theme park here. Come up and around. And, and you know, you got your signature lyric here with uh, the glass in, in casing that's going to have like the race cars come through here, I assume as you drive by it's something he does in every one of his parks and most of his builds so if if you see it it might be a lyric thing taking a nice little stroll through the woods man i like this queue line here you got a good little scenic view coming in little shots of everything your hillside's kind of on fire there Let's get moving on up in here, see what we got, everybody. We're going to throw her in test mode. You all know how it is. And get it going. Everybody enjoy your ride on Alpine Acceleration. All right, and there it is. We got Alpine Acceleration, everybody. Really like that one. Really good little uh, back and forth through the woods here. As I said in some of the previous entries, you all know me. You throw down a bunch of trees, rock work, and terrain. I'm going to love it. Um, but that's the reason that I am not the only uh, judge that does this, is because then everybody would just build rock work and terrain work and trees, and I would vote for them. Uh, so that's why I'm getting a lot of other people involved on the decision making for this contest is so that that doesn't happen and I can put my biases aside, uh, for my love of nature. But at any rate, man, uh, I don't even know where to start with this. A lot of work really went into this. You can tell you got a lot of, uh, stuff done here with your, you put some stuff over the track in a few different areas here, not just that one, you put some waterfalls in here, some caves, You've got this little thing here that you built, which is super nice. I don't know what exactly you would call this uh, kind of archway that wraps around here, but I really like how you've done the plant work on top of it. You've got some custom like signage pieces that you've made out of wood over here. 
Very nicely done. Kind of fits the aesthetic of this. You know, looks like a sun. So, you know, like a, a sunny day in the alpine forest. Um, I did notice here that you had some trigger work going on. We were not in first place in our go-kart, sadly, so we did not get to see the triggers activate, like, as they happened as directly. Uh, but I, I do know, you know, the first place rider, if you were in that position, you would have seen it a lot better. But I did want to point it out because uh, I know we didn't get the best look at it being in, like, third or fourth place there. But I like how they drive through and set the hill, hillside on fire. It adds a little different touch to it, you know. So, uh, yeah, really, really like that quite a bit. I'm trying to see if there's any other little details or touches in here that we missed. Uh, I see you got a, what is this, a gift shop over here? So it looks like your exit queue comes out into a gift shop, maybe. Okay, yeah, it does. Gotcha. Alrighty, very cool. Exit out through a gift shop and then out that way. Food and gifts. Yep, very, very cool, guys. I really, really like all of these entries across the Xbox and the PlayStation side of things here. So, uh, huge props to everybody involved that, that participated in this, that helped me uh, come up with the ideas and and just the general day-to-day -day kind of upkeep that, that goes with running this channel. Uh, and to all my mods and everybody, just seriously, just huge thank you guys so much. I didn't expect to have as many entries as I did. Um, I think we had as many as the last challenge, uh, which was the coaster challenge. So wasn't expecting this many entries and super, super pumped to see that you guys are ready and committed and you know you, you want to show off what you can do and try different things. Um, so I'm going to keep doing these little challenges. I think we'll go a little bit smaller scale with our next one than this because this was kind of a larger one for a two week period. Uh, so to all of you that completed this in two weeks as well, like huge kudos, pat yourself on the back for that. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap it up, everybody. We will be back here very momentarily with the final results. We're going to give you a little teeny tiny wait screen as you hold your suspense. And then we'll throw up the results here at the end of this video. You guys, again, thank you so, so very much for all of your participation in this. You guys are great. And without further ado, we'll get down to it, everybody. Your winner for the go-kart theme challenge on this one is going to be Brivades with Wasteland Death Race. Congratulations, Brivades. Uh, you will get a custom emblem in the Discord for your time. So very much appreciate you participating in this. Uh, and very well done, man. We did not give you a lot of time to work with with the two-week period for such a big space. And you managed to come up with a very, very cool creation um, that did very well in the voting overall amongst the judges. Uh, so congratulations on the win, man. Good job, and thank you for entering. And of course, last but not least, we have our honorable mentions. First up on the list is Lyric with Alpine Acceleration. Good job on that one, man. Did really well in the voting. Um, as did Winner's Circle by Lipikak. That was another one of our honorable mentions for this one. Great job on that, man. Really enjoyed it. And last, but of course not least, we have Scott Boogie Gaming with his Pirate Bay race. Really enjoyed that. All of these did really well. Um, so good job, guys. Even though you didn't get first place, uh, you still got up there. So thanks, everybody, again for participating. And uh, very much really enjoyed doing this. We'll definitely get another one in the future. Have a good day, everybody.